What's going on, YouTube fam? This is the Wealth Investing Network. My name is Jamal, if you didn't know. And today we have a very special guest. Desmond Wheatley, CEO of Beam Global, dropped in and I got to ask him some questions. Here is part of the interview. Like, subscribe, and check out my channel page for more. With that said, let's get into the intro. Desmond Wheatley, President and CEO and Chairman of Beam Global. Uh, he's the inventor of the company's patented EV Arc product technology and several other patented clean tech solutions. He's been with Beam for over 10 years, and before that, he spent a couple of decades internationally with senior executive positions and has raised over half a billion dollars for projects with which he was involved. Is that, is that accurate? That's all accurate, yes. <laughs> okay, well, I'm a Beam shareholder, uh, so I'm very happy to get to ask you some questions today. And uh, we'll start with some easy ones, but they will get more difficult. It's all right. You can ask me anything that you like, Jamal, and I'll um, I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a shareholder, by the way. Oh, of course, of course. Appreciate it. Uh, so first, what is the EV Arc, and who is the target audience? Electric you know, EV Arc is an acronym that stands for Electric Vehicle Autonomous Renewable Charger, and the really important word there is autonomous. It's a charging infrastructure product that allows people to charge their electric vehicles, but it's not connected to anything at all. Uh, it's not connected to the utility grid. It doesn't get its electricity from the utility grid because it generates and stores all of its own electricity using renewable uh, energy sources. Um, it's also autonomous because not only is it not connected to the grid, but it's not even connected to the ground that it sits on, except by gravity. It's a ballast mounted system. And the reason that this is so important is because it's very expensive, very time consuming and very risky to put grid tie chargers in the ground. If you think about your favorite parking space, wherever you go, the mall, your office or wherever, think about what it would take to deliver an electrical circuit to that parking space. You have to dig trenches, you have to pour concrete, you have to pull wires. All of that requires permitting and environmental impact studies and all that sort of stuff. Well, our product doesn't need any of that. And in a world that's going to need, and this is not hyperbole, this is a fact, tens or even hundreds of millions of publicly available charging stations over the next couple of decades, having a product that you can drop off in a parking space, instead of having to go through all the construction, electrical work and all that sort of stuff, obviously puts us in a position where we're going to be able to take advantage of the very massive growth that's going to come down, down the pipe. We're factory producing a product and we're deploying it rapidly as opposed to going through construction and, and electrical and all these other things which are risky and expensive. So it's think of it, it's the Ford Model T of EV charging, right? It's the first off the factory floor infrastructure solution. And the best thing about it is, well, I mean, there are several great things about it. As I said, it generates and stores all of its own electricity. It's got multiple patents in its makeup, including our patented tracking solution, which follows the sun as it moves across the sky. So we get about 25% more electricity than a fixed array. We hold that patent. It's really impossible to do what we do without it. Um, it then stores that electricity so the unit will charge day or night. It's going to charge electric vehicles at nighttime as well. Obviously, we don't have a charging solution that only works during the daytime. Um, and then it even works during periods of inclement weather. And crucially, Jamal, it works when the grid goes down. And if you think about it, as we all move to electric vehicles in the future, we cannot afford to not be able to fuel them when there's a blackout, like we've just seen down in, in uh, New Orleans with Ida. Uh, we see them in the on the West Coast every time people turn their air conditioning up in New York City, the same thing. Our products continue to charge uh, electric vehicles even when the grid goes on. So what you've got is the fastest deployed, most scalable, most reliable, and importantly, lowest total cost of ownership charging solution for electric vehicles that supports any EV charging company. We don't compete with those guys. We don't compete with ChargePoint or Blink or Enel or Electrify America. In fact, our products enable all of those companies. So our TAM, our total addressable market, is equal to all of their times put together. Okay, well, I, I gotta say, I love your background uh, because it has the EV arc right there, um, uh, shows its practical use. Uh, so my next question is, uh, you kind of mentioned it already, but Beam's website boasts the fastest deployed EV charging solution. Can you explain a little bit about where that comes from and, and what kind of opportunity that creates just being the fastest deployed? Yeah, and it's frankly, it is the underpinning of, of, our, of everything that we're doing. Uh, so 
as I already mentioned, we do we support all the EV charging companies out there. We're not competing with those companies, right? We the good, the bad, and the ugly. Frankly, some some business models we sort of like, some we don't like so much. But we don't really have a dog in that fight. Our customers will call us up and say, "Hey, we want to put charge point chargers in the following location, but it's too expensive, too time consuming, and too disruptive to go through all the construction and and try and get the electric grid to those locations." No problem. If we can see the sky. Those charge point chargers are going to get deployed in that location. Same if it was Blink or Nell or Electrify America or any of the other major brands uh, that are out there. Um, so when we say that we're the fastest deployed, let me give you some numbers to back that up. New York City is currently our largest municipal customer. So we deploy our charging infrastructure in New York. They're on the charge point network. So they put charge point, char well, right, we put charge point chargers onto our products and we deliver them to New York ready to operate. Now in New York City, it takes the city about 24 months to go through environmental impact study, permitting, construction, electrical work, all the things that you need to do to make a charger work in the parking space, like this place that you can see behind me there, okay, out in the parking. That's where people park cars. They don't wanna go somewhere special to charge them. We wanna charge them where they're already parking. About a 24 month process to get a charger in the ground in the space that you can see behind me. Jamal, we do the same thing in as little as four minutes, okay? So this is, exactly why we're in business. When we're moving into a world that will need tens or hundreds of millions of public charges, and I, I'll tell you how we get to that. There are 1.4 billion cars on the world's roads today, moving to 2 billion by 2030. You need one publicly available charger, at least one for every five vehicles on the road. So do the arithmetic. You got 2 billion vehicles on the road, five uh, vehicles per charger, that gives you 400 million chargers worldwide. If it's taking you two years, to do all the construction and electrical work to install a charger. Are we going to succeed? No way. Okay. So the fact that we can churn these things out of a factory on a warlike footing, I mean, we're blitzkrieg where charging is concerned, right? We're pumping these things off the factory floor and we can put them anywhere in the world. Then we're going to help the, 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 in the battle against this or the, or the lack of charging infrastructure, we're going to be the tool that wins that war because we are not going to spend months and years digging up the streets and going through all that construction. A good analogy for this, if you think about it, is uh, in the past, you used to lick a stamp and lick an envelope and then you used to walk to the mailbox to send a letter. Now you just hit send on your Gmail. OK, that's a technology replacing an old time consuming and expensive process. It's free when you hit your Gmail. Right. You used to have to buy an envelope and paper and stamps and everything else like that. What we've done is we've come up with a clean technology solution, a product which replaces that whole construction and electrical project that you used to have to go through. And I'll tell you something. Talk to any of our customers, any of our customers, particularly those who have done both. The ones who've done the grid tight, they dug up the parking lot and the contractor told them it was going to be trench would be open for three days and it was open for three weeks and it was full of water and the, half the parking spaces were taped off and all these other things and they had to get permits and the city's walking all over the product. And then they deploy our product. They can't believe it. We show up often in the middle of the night because that's when the parking lots are empty. The following morning they come in and then we get a phone call saying, it's here, it's here. And we said, yeah, we know, we delivered it, right? <laughs> and then they say, well, what do we do now? And we're like, well, I don't know, I guess you charge a car on it. That's why you bought it, right? And they're like, but isn't there anything else? No, they're so used to it being complicated and difficult and risky that they can't believe that we can just show up and drop these things off um, and, and then they're ready to charge. Uh, as I always like to say, we deliver our products Unlike Christmas presents for children, ours come with full batteries ready to operate. And so it's, a, it's, just a, it's revolutionized the whole process of deploying these things. And again, in a world that's going to need 400 million publicly available charges in the next few years, you better believe quite a few of them are going to have to be deployed like this. All right, YouTube fam. So that was part of my interview with Desmond Wheatley, CEO of Beam Global. For more, for the full interview, check out the links check out my channel page. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.